it's so bright outside. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's officially day one of the Gatlinburg trip. Everything is loaded up. I'm running on literally an hour of sleep right now. Um, didn't feel like getting everything done last night because I knew I wasn't going to. But yeah, didn't sleep, got up this morning, packed everything up in here so we didn't film that, but we're about to head out. Um, and later on today, I'm hosting a meet and like the biggest thing we have to do today is go and scout the location and make sure it's good because if it's not, I have to find a plan B. Um, but yeah, I am gonna, I'm gonna give it, you're, dri you're driving because I need to take a nap. Like, so bad. Welcome to Gatlinburg. <laughs> so, we just made it to Gatlinburg. Uh, we're pulling up to the spot that I'm hoping to host my meet at tonight. Um, I scouted it a couple of weeks ago to see how it looked. It looked pretty promising. It's more of a parking lot now, but this place was originally a hotel that got knocked down and forever it's just been like basically an abandoned spot. And now when I came back, it's actually a parking lot like there's like lines on the ground but it still has the same character that it used to um, so I'm super pumped I did a meet here uh, three two or three years ago and it was insane it was such a good spot to shoot at and so hopefully this pans out which it looks pretty promising right now um, but yeah I'm not announcing the location just yet I'm waiting until um, an hour before the meet starts to let people know to come up here. Um, but we'll let my homies know with nice cars so they can get here early and we can park everybody cool. But check it out, this is the spot. Big open parking lot and then the cool thing is you can drive up here. And this is where I'm gonna put all the nice cars because it looks cool as fuck. Got a big ass concrete slab and then that actually, I think used to be a lazy river for this hotel and it's all like filled in with concrete. And what, what we're parked on right now used to be the actual hotel structure. There was, a, there was a guy down by the entrance and I asked him, hey, do you like get a ticket here? He's like, no, you just find a spot and then go pay for your ticket. So I will be telling people to pay for parking. And if they don't, that's not really on me, but I think as it's a parking lot, we should be allowed to use this if we pay to park. So I think this will work, but yeah, we'll hop out, take a look around and kind of figure out roughly where I'm gonna put cars and, uh, definitely figure out some sick angles for filming because this is a sick spot, especially at sunset. So yeah, the lot is huge. Um, we easily have enough space for a few hundred cars and I'm just gonna prioritize like nice cars being up here where the views are and it's kind of unobstructed so we can get all like the sick cinematic shots of kind of my friend's cars and nice cars and then just like all of the regular traffic, they'll show up a little bit after that and they can park down there and down there easily get like probably 300 cars up here um, so. yeah which it'll probably fill up really quick because every single time i've done this what was it two yeah two years ago i did a pop-up meet at um some kind of park that was down there the other side of gatlinburg and dude we had like 600 to a thousand cars there within an hour and it was insane like the, the park rangers had to like come and shut that shit down it took like four hours for everybody to get out because the traffic was so insane but hopefully this is like less chaotic and this is a way better spot but yeah this will be cool up here i think it was a lazy river i can't if it wasn't it was either that or like a fucking go-karting track or something but it'll be sick to have like cars parked all around this and then on this whole concrete slab over here just fill it with cars staggered back and forth and then the sun the sun literally sets right there, like between these two mountains. And so if we get a good sunset right around like seven, prime time to be shooting right here, which man, clean beans gonna cook up some heat. It's really hot. I'm wearing, I'm wearing fucking sweatpants. I'm trying to chill. It's supposed to be full, dude. I need like 60s right now. Obviously I have to plug, but the Gatlinburg shirts came out incredible super hyped on these and if there are any left go to the website right now and grab them which i'm going to assume there probably isn't and if there is enough demand i'll probably make them again but the hoodies i will not the hoodies i'm not making again so that's that there's a couple cars up here actually so let's go take a look oh and you know what's funny i was up here three weeks ago um shooting a couple of cars and right in the middle of our shoot 
a bear literally just walked out and was just like wandering around and then there was like a couple of trucks parked along here and there was a jeep with no doors on it this fucking bear literally just climbed into the jeep and was like sniffing around for food and stuff like if you haven't been to Gatlinburg like yes it's kind of in the mountains they're not like huge mountains but there's legitimately bears here like wandering around like I think three years ago um, I left food in my LS overnight and in the morning there was dirty like paw prints all over the roof of my car from a bear climbing on it it's like the coolest thing ever so we will see some this weekend i hope we can get some like some footage of some bears jeep people are a cult i swear to god they spend so much money on shit and then they don't even use it like, hey let's put a sick off-road rig and then fucking park it actually it's funny that i say that we own fucking stance cars we, we spend so much money on things that are utterly fucking useless <laughs> having so much fun shooting b-roll stuff for the after movie um, if i hadn't mentioned yet i have been with me clean bean uh, make sure you check out his stuff his instagram uh, his youtube channel everything we are filming an after movie which actually bean is filming the majority of it um, i'm basically directing and i am enjoying the shit out of this because i know every spot here i've been here so many years in a row it's perfect look at these views literally look at this Dude, that is insane. Um, but it is about that time to head back over to the meat spot. And I think I should have cars showing up there in the next like 30 minutes or so. So we're gonna start getting cars staged and begin shooting. And I'll be posting the address publicly at five. So it'll start getting busy, but I wanna make sure we get nice cars there first. Hey, this, uh, the maple bacon donut, does it have like anything inside of it or is it just a donut? Uh, no, it's just, it's just the donut itself. Sick, yeah, let me get one of those and then just these. Fucking, yeah, boy. What you know about maple bacon donuts, bitch? That's the... Focus distance. That looks disgusting. Bro, that's maple bacon. I oh, got sticky hands now. Why do I make a habit of like buying things I shouldn't eat with a mustache? Ah, uh, you're going to park next to that GS, even though it's going to make yours look like shit. I know, I just saw it. I, he pulled up and was like, oh, it's Andrew. And then I walked over and was like, oh, that's not Andrew. I wish that was me. That's Kyle. But... Yeah, go up next to him and go like the opposite side, like, so you're like that. What's up, dude? How you doing? Good. Good to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Liam. Oh, I saw this aesthetic. Yeah, that thing's so hard. That thing right there, that's how you do it right. Uh, any, uh, to be honest, any of these things right here in this general vicinity is how you do things right. All of these cars, they wouldn't be up here if they weren't. It's just a fact. The best views are gonna be like taking pictures looking that way and the sun sets right between the two mountains so just go up there and leave space between the cars but park them all random make it look sick fuck me dude good fucking god what have we done i'm so excited when i like try to do something and it works out and like people show up there's always like like chance that whenever you try and do something cool people just like they just don't come but they came got a couple cars here now um still waiting on more cars showing up i just posted the address i know a lot of people can't find the location because it doesn't have an exact address um, so hopefully that'll help slow people down and not cause traffic jams 
we'll see. But uh, yeah, we're gonna hop on the gimbal, film some cinematic stuff for the after movie, and I will throw some of those clips in here. But if you wanna see the full video, it'll be coming out soon, um, so. We just wrapped and I am so unbelievably proud of what just happened. This meet was incredible and I didn't have to yell at anybody once. Like people all parked in parking spaces. They were all super nice and respectful. There were a lot of people wearing LEP merch, which is amazing. I, I'm so humbled right now. Um, yeah, it was just sick. Everyone was super respectful. Um, we're gonna hang out for a little bit, just make sure there isn't any trash on the ground um, and kind of socialize with some people because we've been keeping the conversation short because we've been running around and filming and making the most of the light. But hope you guys enjoyed the shots and please hit that subscribe button, hit like. This was a hell of a meet. Anyway, let's, let's, go, let's go walk. There's a guy doing PDR out here in the dark with this sick ass light. I've never seen that happen before. But. Coolest fucking thing ever. This is Josh's RX-7. Um, super clean car. Apparently not that clean because he's having PDR done on the meet. Josh, dude, this is fucking sick. I've never seen anybody just set up and do this at a meet. That's the coolest fucking thing. You don't see many of these. Genesis? Dude, here, record me. Damn it, please don't do that. <laughs> dude, this is just, this is so cool. Like, I'm so ridiculously thankful for this. Like this is such a perfect way to start off this trip and start off this weekend. Like everybody pretty much got into town today or maybe last night and like probably hasn't spoke way too soon on people misbehaving. I guess as soon as it gets dark, it's a free for all. But anyway, super, super thankful for this. Like just, you know, being able to provide a place for people to like come and hang out on the first day of an event and it be as good as this and be as like chill as this so sick um it was amazing to see so many people wearing stuff that i made like it's it's insane to me that like i don't know three years ago when i did a meet in the same exact spot i didn't even have merchandise really like i had some shirts for some of my friends but at that point lep was still just a media company like i was just making videos i was that guy with a camera and now i like to think that i'm a little bit more than the guy with the camera I, tonight i was definitely the guy with the camera because i was running around but I'm so I'm so happy to be to be where I am right now and like to see this come together and people enjoy it and like you know hear good things about it. So I'm stoked and this, this is gonna be a good weekend. Um, it's probably not gonna be a whole lot more in this video. We're just gonna go back to the house and chill. But uh, what a great way to set the tone for the weekend, man. Right now, right now I'm good. We're calm. There's too many people around. Here. Or just, or, just, or just run off. He didn't, he didn't want the sauce. I was gonna embarrass him. Please don't do that, please. Why is it? I, I don't know who that guy's with. Why is it always a VQ guy? It's either VQ guy, Mustang, or like some Mopar. And I know that there's a, an RX-7 that's idling really fucking loud, but it's it, that just does that. That, don't be a fucking dickhead. Like you'll ruin this. I just had a conversation with you guys about how awesome this was and how everyone was chill. And then there's one dickhead. If you're watching this, Fuck you. Don't come here. Don't do that. And I hope that you feel embarrassed. Love you, buddy.
Dude, this Maybe. thing is this thing is so cool. So, <laughs> literally, a, some girl was just yelling "I love you" out of the window of the car. To me, they said "I love you, Liam." I have no idea who it was. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll hang out for a second, just make sure that uh, the place is somewhat tidy and it's not, you know, a mess. But... You want me to cut? Is that a wrap for this? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a good way to end this. But so we just got into our like quote unquote cabin. Um, very different from some of the other years that I've stayed at houses. I mean, you guys have seen, I've rented some very, well, not I have, but I've stayed with a group that rented some very crazy houses. And as much as that is a part of the weekend, it's also staying with groups that big kind of sucks. Parking sucks. Half the people suck. But staying with a little group of friends that you all love in a little random dude this thing's like a weird ass spaceship whole ass cow on the floor but this is just like this is a really cute i say nah i say that loose it's a really cute quaint little house but it's actually quite creepy i'm not gonna lie like for example look at this kitchen here you you stay no you stay right here i'll, I'll walk around the for instance look at this fucking kitchen it's I don't know, this center part of the house is like a circle or an octagon or some shit, and it's just really strange. And I couldn't imagine like making stuff in this kitchen. The stove is like there, and it's like 20 feet away from the fridge. It's a cool house, lots of character, staying with good friends. Um, and you guys all see those guys probably tomorrow. We're not gonna do too much tonight. I'm running on very little sleep. So we are gonna grab something to eat and go to bed. Thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you're enjoying these videos and if you would like to see them happen more often for other events, um, you like this style, you like how it's filmed, please go to the website, grab some of the merchandise and we will see you in another video tomorrow. I've said and so many times, but and the after movie's coming soon. So peace guys, we'll so see you soon. Movies are back. I will tread lightly on that subject because every time I'm like, the after movies are back, I like fuck up and put way too much pressure on myself and everyone gets excited and then I don't Whoa. and then I don't want to do it. It's not even a knife, what the f pulled the wrong We'll see you guys.